girls. Hello again, boys and girls. I have another story problem today. I would like for us to look at it two different ways. The first thing we need to do is read it. Let's read it together. Chad has 15 candies. He eats five candies. How many candies does he have left? So it looks like we are working with two numbers in this problem. We are working with 15 and 5. Now, let's look at these words. Have left. Anytime you hear have left, are you going to add or are you going to subtract? Think about it and see if you can figure it out. That's right. You are going to subtract. So I'm going to write our minus sign right here. I'm actually going to write it up here because I want to make sure that we have enough room to do our work down here. So we are working with two numbers. 15 and 5. Now listen, this is very important. We have to put the 15 first and subtract 5 from 15. You cannot subtract 15 from 5. You don't have enough. So you have to you have to write the 15 minus 5, not the other way around. And we're trying to figure out how many we have left. The first thing I want us to do is put our 15 candies in our 10 frames. Since it's a teen number, I know I need two 10 frames, 10, and then how many ever ones I have. So let's count until we get to 15. We're going to actually count all of them by ones. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and if you noticed, I moved from left to right, top to bottom. So it is very easy to see 10 and 5 is 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so now that we've looked at that, let's draw out our 15 candies down here. Candies can be represented with just circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Look at my nice five groups. So I have fifteen candies. How many am I taking away? Five. I am not going to erase them. I am simply going to put an X through five. One, two, three, four, five. So 15 minus five. Let's count how many we have left. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It looks like we have 10 left. We are going to come over here, take the five candies that Chad ate away off of our 10 frame and see if we also get 10. Let's take five off. One, two, three, four, five. And if you will look at our 10 frame, you can see that only the top 10 frame is full. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten candies left. A full ten frame. So we came up with our answer and double checked it. We used two ways to solve this problem. Pictures and ten frames and manipulatives. So we know without a doubt that our answer is 10. If I want to write a sentence, and I will need to do so on a different board because I am out of space on that board. Let me grab my little board if I can find it. Here it is. So I am going to write a word sentence stating my answer. Chad has 10 candies left. Chad, and you could just say he, has 10 candies left. All right, there is my answer stated in a sentence. Chad has 10 candies left. Great job, boys and girls. I hope that all the work we did and double checking we did helped you really think about and solve your story problems. You have two story problems for Wednesday on your work calendar, and I cannot wait to see how you solve those two story problems. Goodbye for now. See you again soon.